Hello there, my name is Boric, and I'm trying something new. Well, semi-new. It's an old game, but I've never done a randomizer Nuzlocke before. It should be entertaining, I think. Entertaining for me, I don't know about the rest of you. That was kind of a weird little power cord there, what, what was up with that? Okay, well, anyway, I'm just gonna jump right into the game. Press start. And, yes, hello there, it's nice to meet you. I already know all this. This guy is the professor, you're gonna meet him. He is going to tell everybody the controls. I don't need controls. What I do need to do is explain what it is I'm actually doing. So, for those who don't know, a Nuzlocke challenge has two rules. And they're very simple rules. Rule number one. Anything that faints in battle is dead. Just, just dead. Period. You release it, it's gone. Rule number two. You're only allowed to catch the very first thing you encounter on any route. And that's about it, really. No. There are a couple extra rules that I'm going to be adding. The most important of which are... Duplicate Pokémon don't count. So, say I've already got, like, I don't know, a Magikarp, and I go to a new route, first thing I find is another Magikarp, doesn't count, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count it. I can still catch whatever comes next. But, the way I have this randomizer set up, that's probably not going to happen. I've, you know, I've made some tweaks to the game, through some third-party applications. It all comes down to what Pokémon appear where, and how easy it is to catch them. I have made random Pokemon appear pretty much everywhere, including in other trainers' party parties. I guess even all parties. What do you call them? Whatever. And I've made it a little bit easier to catch some of them. I mean, there's really no point in wasting 7,048 Pokeballs on something if that something is probably going to die in, in the next battle anyway. Yeah. I'll let everything kind of unfold as we go. So, no info needed. I've already given you enough information, probably. Here you have a Pokeball. Oh, yes, you're gonna you're gonna make me actually use the touch screen. Okay, fine. Forgot about it. this is Pokemon Platinum. Pokemon Platinum does the touch screen. I really do like this game. It's a great game. <laughs> I hope it I hope it'll be even more fun this way. So yeah, this guy, tell me a little bit about yourself. Boy or girl? Well that should be pretty obvious. Yes, I'm a boy. I would just say that. My name. Uh -huh. oh, I already said that too. Yes, it is. Yes, it is a fine name. Oh, this guy. You know, I don't know his name either. We shall call him Barry. Alright, time has come. Tale of Grand Adventure, countless Pokémon. I will discover many things. Yeah, I'll discover a lot of things because I have no idea what's going to show up and where. Oh no, I'm a sprite. Now I have to play a video game that involves sprites. Um, oh, what is this, a TV program of some sort? It's not very good TV, is it? Mm -hmm. I'm watching TV. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do. A couple additional rules, not really. First of all, text is slow, I'm making it fast. Sound, we can leave there. Battle scene is on, because that's more fun to watch. Battle style, set. Which means, it's not going to ask me to switch Pokémon every time I knock out an opponent's Pokémon. It's a little more strategic and a little more dangerous, that's kind of the point. Yes, switch to the settings, thank you. Let's go ahead and save my game right now. 
<laughs> I've literally just started and I'm already saving a lot of data. This is going to be a recurring thing, by the way. Wow. Just wow. See, I want to edit this out, but I don't want to at the same time because it's also... It's funny. I'm making a joke, so... Okay. Oh, I just took one step and Barry just breaks into my house. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, he's saying we need to go talk to him to get our starters. Which, by the way, I, I've also randomized. I have no idea what the three starters are going to be. Actually, it's going to be... A, let's check the PC. Oh, okay. People live alongside Pokemon. There are Pokemon trainers. The end. Okay, fine. This is a Nintendo Wii. Game Freak has a long-standing tradition of putting the current Nintendo console into the player's house. Every single game, I think. Every game I've ever played, at least. Yes, Barry did leave. He was in a hurry. I'm going to walk in front of the TV and be like, Haha, I'm hilarious. Um... Don't go into the tall grass. <laughs> Guess what I'm gonna have to run into. Damn it, I don't have the running shoes. Why don't... Okay, I'm too used to starting the game with the running shoes. This guy. Yes, Barry was looking for me. Why did you have to shove me like three feet backwards? What's the point of that? <sighs> Whatever. Okay, this is Barry's house. That's also going to be a recurring thing. <laughs> oh, what did you forget? Do you forget your sanity? I forget that sometimes, too. Graphics seem to be having a little bit of trouble. I could probably fix that later on. <laughs> Better take your bag in your... The joke's on you, as you saw, but as you... 10 million Poké, fine. Why? That's another recurring thing, isn't it? Anyway, as you saw, I plan ahead. I already have my bag and journal. Pretty sure it's safe in this journal. It does. We're, we're, we're gonna say that it does. You are Barry's mom. Do you have anything important to say? No, literally, you are Barry's mom. You don't even have a name. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, look. Graphics, just pixels floating around. God, I miss being able to run already. Why can't I run yet? Okay. Hello there. Too slow. We're going to the lab. Don't go in the grass, right? <laughs> Trust you on this one. If we just keep running, we can get to the town without running into wild Pokemon. <laughs> this is called troll logic, everybody. And it's called that for a reason. Now I'm just gonna sit here and watch and... Oh, no. Okay, I guess I don't get to see him get completely mauled by a random Pokemon. Hello, Professor. We were going the wrong way the whole time. The professor was actually over there to the left. And we were going to the right. You know, I should remember this. I played this game. I know exactly where everything is. I lied, I really don't. This old guy. It's Professor Hill. Yes. And I'm pretty sure he objects to being called this old guy. Yeah, we tried to go into the grass because they wanted Pokemon. What to do? Um, logically, you should... Give us Pokemon? Oh, you're putting a lot of thought into this. Yes, I do. That's why I'm playing this game. Can't ask a hundred, you can ask a hundred times. Right? Yes. Yeah, you know, you know what I would do? Um, probably end up getting them all killed, because that's how it does not works. <laughs> Ooh, how brave of you. That's nice. 
I... I think you're funny. Let's promise you you'll never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Okay, I promise. Probably. Ooh, look, there's the other rival. Kind of. Left your briefcase at the lake. This is Dawn. She's more important of a rival than the other guy. Whoa. Okay, wait. I just realized... Time still works. <laughs> it, it literally just turned 5 o'clock p.m. and the sun immediately started setting. Like, ooh, it's afternoon, and BAM! Now it's the evening. I always thought it was a little more gradual than that. Oh well. Alright. Okay, now this, again, this is different. It's gonna be weird. Very strange. What do we have here? These are Pokeballs. Correct. Um, okay, it shows a picture of a Turtwig, but it's not. It's actually a Lotad. I don't- okay, what else is available? Nidoran, female. Okay. Pichu? <laughs> okay. Okay, um... Um... I'm thinking, actually. I need something that won't die horribly. So, Pichu's probably out. Lotad is not an option. Because the fun- that's a weird thing, because Lotad and Nidoran... They both require a stone for their final evolution. Actually, heck, so does Pikachu. Pikachu requires a stone to evolve. But, Pichu sucks. Lotad is okay. Nidoran is also okay. Oh dear. Screw it. We're gonna t we're taking Nidoran. Yeah, you know, I'm un I'm unfamiliar with the world. Kind of. I'm familiar with the world, but not what's in it. So that's something. Okay, another rule I probably should have mentioned. Nuzlocke rules do not take effect until I have Pokeballs. So, I'm going to probably encounter something. I can't catch it, so it doesn't count. Yes, we do have Pokemon now. Am I up for this? What happens if I say no? Ah, it loops. Of course it does. Yes, I'm up for this. Whatever this is. Uh-huh. We're battling. Okay, who did you pick? Challenge by Pokemon Trainer Barry. You got Pichu. You had to pick Pichu. That's funny. I have a Nidoran. Um, okay. Okay, at least I can attack. That's good. Haha, <laughs> charm. What does that even do? Partially fell. Oh, oh dear. And static. Immediately. Well, this is off to a great start. Um, why is the tech still slow? Are you just gonna keep using Charm? Do you have any moves besides Charm? Are you just programmed to let me win? Oh my god, my attack is horrible. Tail Whip. Your only moves are Charm and Tail Whip. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. <laughs> I'm doing no damage. Okay, scratch, watch that. Boom! Like, that's like 1 HP. Well, this is gonna take forever, I'm just gonna speed through this. Oh, oh dear. You can attack. Oh. Oh, no. And I can't growl you because th Thundershock is special attack. So that won't do anything. <sighs> okay, again. 
Nuzlocke rules do not take effect until I get Pokeballs, which means if I lose this battle, it's not game over. That's another thing. If at any point you're completely out of Pokemon, you just game over. The end. I'm debating whether or not I should be able to go back to the PC and pick up something out of the box if I have anything left in the box. Yeah, I probably will do that. But again, if I ever run completely out of Pokemon, then game over, Nuzlocke over, reset, <laughs> and just start over. There's a lot of overs. Stop killing me! Stop it! I wonder what happens if you lose the initial rival battle. I've never done that before. It's never happened. 1 HP! Oh, the beeping. Alright. <laughs> Logically, this should be the end of the run already. But, I guess that was a scripted event. Battle- it could have gone either way if you were a little more stupid. No, I'm not gonna reset. I've decided- no, I'm not resetting. None of the rules take effect until I get Pokeballs. Mm -hmm. well, well, probably the same thing that that Pichu did to my Nidoran. Uh huh. Yeah! Now I cannot be stupidly slow. Press the B button and dash about faster than. Fa 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 fa. Yes, that was all in the menu. That, word for word. Now I can be not slow. Hooray! I will probably have my finger on the B button permanently throughout this entire run. Alright, so let me take a look at... Oh wait, hang on. That's not right. That's not right. I need to actually... Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't get a chance to nickname it, did I? <laughs> I probably did and I missed it. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, so if I click Pokémon... What do we have here? Pokédex number question mark. Oh, of course, because I don't have a Pokédex yet. And Nidoran doesn't normally show up in the Sinnoh region, does it? Brave nature, like spicy food. Perseverance. Rivalry. Okay. Hang on. Isn't Nidoran female technically genderless? Technically? That would be dumb. It's probably not. Growl and scratch. Okay. Save game. Oh. Mm, so it's saving a lot of data when I've done nothing, but it's just saving when I haven't done anything. Hello, Barry. You're gonna go to see the professor. You know that lake? You know how they say legendary Pokemon lives there? Let's catch it. <laughs> okay, there are two problems with that. Our Pokemon are both level 5, and we don't have Pokeballs. But, we have to go do it anyway, because that's what the game requires. <laughs> yeah, you know, I should have read this line. Mm -hmm. What is going on? It's this guy. He's monologuing. Like all these guys do. Now we'll learn more about him later. Let's go catch legendary Pokemon without Pokeballs and with two level 5 crap baskets. The whole premise of this is, is stupid, but I love it. Yeah, why is it crying? Is it scared because we suck? Oh, now you're just realizing it. We don't have any 
P O K accent E balls. Okay. Maybe he would. He'd probably go on to go off on some crazy philosophical tangent first. And just like the last time. First one to the lab in San Jim Town rules. I want to just run into the grass, but I know that I shouldn't. Okay. So. First encounter that doesn't count. Gibble! Wow, okay, so there are gibble. There are gibbles on the very first route of the game. That's great. That is excellent. This one I'm just gonna have to knock out. Ooh. Oh, you did slightly more damage than you were supposed to. Good job. Right here is where I'd throw a Pokeball and it'd be amazing, but I can't. If I miss my chance to nickname Nidoran, I will do it as soon as I find the name. Should I talk with a trainer? Is it even a trainer? I don't know. What's over here? Oh, it's a shortcut. Back over here. It's a tree. Now I'm over there. Okay, that was a waste of time. The two-foot ledge. The bane of all Pokemon trainers. Actually, Pokemon trainers have a lot of banes. That's just one of them. We also dislike random number generators. And Wabafets. Too many Nuzlocke challenges have been ended by a rogue Wabafet. Thud. That's, what, the second thud now? Yeah, that's the second thud. Yes, it is me. He's not so scary. Yes, okay. It doesn't matter. You're leaving. See you later. I don't really want to talk to you. <laughs> you have no idea. It's kind of like Dawn, she's actually sane. Barry is obviously not. Well, this lab looks exactly like every other Pokémon Professor lab in the entire history of Pokémon. What do you mean I made a- I know I haven't! Oh, okay, there must be like a switch in the game someplace. If Pokémon does not equal starter, then you made it evolve, you're awesome. There, okay. Nickname. What am I gonna call it? <laughs> Under the circumstances? I think this has to happen. <laughs> I may change that later. <laughs> Yes, I'm happy with that nickname. <laughs> but yes, I'll cherish Crap Basket. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot... I can't not laugh at this. If I weren't friendly to Pokemon, I'd ha you'd have to, or you just can't say it, you'd have to not be my friend or something dumb. Yes, let let's move on to the main topic. Your name is Rowan. You study Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I want to know too, because I broke the universe. I randomized what's actually here. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, give me the Pokedex. Rhetorical questions. And rhetorical answers. Go everywhere, meet every kind of Pokemon. That might be difficult. Oh, you're 60. Okay. You look older than that. 
Wait, my grandpa's 16. He looks nothing like you. My grand adventure begins right now. Now, technically, it doesn't begin until I have the Pokemon. Now, you say it's a Chimchar, but I'm pretty sure I randomized your party, so it's not going to be a Chimchar. I couldn't have chosen a Chimchar on 201. Not that it matters. No, it doesn't. You got a head start, and I'm going to complete blow right past you. Because I'm the protagonist, and you are a secondary character. You got anything else to say? Nope. Oh, I can run indoors. That's nice. Oh, okay, you're not going to say thud this time. That's nice. I mean, you're not even the same guy, but still. TM27? Um... Return! Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Up to Generation 4, TMs are single-use only. In Generation 5, they made them all infinite uses. So I need to be a little more careful with how I use these. Return is a great thing to start with, because your starter is naturally going to become extremely friendly. Up to me, to whether or not I want to use it. Well, as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to teach it to Nidoran. I'm going to teach it to Crap Basket. I need to start referring to her by her real name. Oh, uh, you're going to be my mentor. Ooh, is, this is the Pokemon catching tutorial. Oh, no it isn't. This is the complete noob tutorial. This is the Pokemon Center. This is where you heal. It's probably very important. This is the Pokemart. It's where you buy things that you use to heal. I do need to let my family know. Uh, I was going to. Go to the center? Yes, I will. Please give me Pokeballs. Why? Watch. Well, just... Okay. First bag. I do not have Pokeballs. Okay. TM, return. Use. On. Yeah, key to return to. Crap basket. <laughs> okay. That's another, thing I should, that's another thing I should mention. Part of the randomizer changed the stats of a lot of the moves, basically upgraded them to what they are in Generation 6. Without adding the fairy type, of course, because it can't do that. So the move power and stuff is going to be a little bit different. Okay. What else was I going to do? Let me, check, let me check my trainer card. Ooh, I do have money. I don't need you to give me Pokeballs, I can just go buy some. What do I need? I need to buy lots of Pokeballs. How many of these? I could afford that many. Let's just buy ten, that'll be enough for now. And antidotes. It's good to have a couple antidotes. Four should be enough. And god damn it, I really should have bought more potions. I will buy one potion. Thank you. Okay. One more rule that I should mention. Which may not even be a rule. I mean I may choose not to use it. Often people will choose not to use any items in battle. I don't really like that. It makes it too hard. Their reason for it is that battle should be decided by skill and not by money and how much supply stuff you have. I agree with that. So, I've come up with sort of a compromise. You know how gym leaders always have like two potions or hyper potions or whatever that, that they can use? That's what I'm going to do. I am going to limit myself to two items per battle. That's it. I, I'm only allowed to use two items in battle. Hell items, of course, don't count. That way, I can have the challenge of having limited items, but not have the complete and utter carnage that comes from not using any at all. Okay, what I actually came here to do... PC. Okay, no, I do not have item storage, so there is no PC potion. Ball capsule, that's a thing. 
I remember that. I don't get to do that yet. Okay. Oops, I was wrong button. Alright. I don't remember if there's anybody in here who gives me anything. Yes, I do see the PC. I just used it. Talk to the nice lady. I did. That, okay, that lady over there is for uh, multiplayer features. Obviously, I won't be doing that. Oh yeah, that's what I need to mention. Remember when I said how I changed how some things evolve? The major thing that I changed is trade evolutions. Normally, there are a lot of Pokémon that evolve when they're traded to somebody else. Since I obviously can't do that, I let the randomizer change that to be usually just a level evolution. So normally, for example, like a Haunter. It evolves to Gengar when you trade it. Now, in this particular game, it'll evolve somewhere around level 30 or 40. I don't remember. Okay, well. Now, real first encounter. What do we have? Talk to me. Show me things. Drowsy! Well, that's not bad. I would have preferred a Gibble, but that's not bad. Forewarn alert alerted it to return. What does Forewarn even do? I can't remember. Let's try using return. Do a little dance. Get a critical hit. And okay, good. Hypnosis is annoying. Why did that do so- okay. I thought a critical hit was double damage. That was like a quarter of the damage that a critical hit should have done. Oh, it's because you're not friendly enough. Okay, scratch. We just met, and you think I'm going to kill you. That may be true. But I really hope this is true. We can a little bit more... That's probably good enough, but I want to play it safe. One more return. Okay, that's good. Okay, stop pounding. Stop doing that. Bag. Pokeballs. Oh, right, the Premier Ball. <laughs> it's exactly the same as a Pokeball, but it's a different color. You get one for free whenever you buy ten Pokeballs. Let's use it. Just for fun. Alright, come on. Come on. God damn it. First Pokeball I ever threw and it missed. Oh, it didn't miss. It failed. Try again. If I kill myself on a wild drowsy, I will never forgive myself. That's more like it. Uh, we're gonna go straight back to the center and heal. For both of us. Yeah. Drowsy's data added to the Pokédex. It loves fun dreams. That's good. <laughs> Your nickname. What am I gonna call you? You love fun dreams. Your name shall be Fun Dreams. Usually I put a little more thought into my nicknames, but I don't feel like doing that. I'm just gonna name them the first thing that pops into my head. That'll be entertaining. Okay, how long have I been recording? Quite a while, I think. I think it's time to go ahead and end the episode here. I'm going to save my game, and I'm going to see all of you next time. <laughs>